are you? Good, good. Do you know if John is in? Everybody loves chocolate, right? So, but you've got to be obsessed with it to name your restaurant the Chocolate Room. Is that fair to say? That is fair to say. I, for me, ever since I was a kid, I was more interested in, well, at that time, it was the Hershey's Special Dark. So okay. Halloween would come, and yeah, I liked my Mr. Good bar and my, my mm -hmm. solid milk chocolate, but I was always trading for those, and there was, there was something about a little bit more refined flavor that, that made me feel better. I don't know. It's just, it, it, to, to me, it was more interesting. Uh, it, it, it tasted more like chocolate as opposed to sugar. Um, and, and, but then on the flip side, I can also remember uh, as a kid, uh, being in Cape Cod and going and buying fudge, um, but it was always you know there's always something about chocolate. And you're, so the sourcing is important to you, right? Um, the sourcing of ingredients, because we don't make bean to bar chocolate at the chocolate room, but we've been fortunate enough to have been introduced uh, since we opened way back in 2005. Mm -hmm. There's 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 been this uh, huge increase in people that are making chocolate bean to bar. So we've been introduced to a lot of fine chocolate that way, um, and we've always gone on the much higher scale when it comes to finding chocolate for our recipes. You know, a lot of chefs tell me, and we've talked about this, a lot of chefs tell me, you know, you can have a great pastry or great dessert or great chocolate or whatever it is. You seem to have figured out what this key thing is already because this spot's been here for quite a long time yes yeah we, we're 10 years old at this spot and we've been over in Park Slope for uh, 13 years um, I think for me and for Naomi when we decided to get into this type of business we felt that the experience was as important as what was being put on the plate yeah. right so I was gonna say a dish can get so good but then after that You've got to add something. Yeah. To that, right? So you come in here and you'll get you'll get a little taste of something chocolate as soon as you sit down. Uh, it's a freebie, but it's 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 a nice welcoming. It says, "Hey, we're going to treat you a little bit nicer than just uh, buying something at the counter and going and finding your own table." A lot of chefs have told me though, when they make meals or they make dishes or pastry, right? In New York City, it's so competitive. So once you get a really good pastry. They now start selling experiences. Do you feel like you've entered that business? Yeah, I think we entered that business from the start. Our idea was to create a place that was special for dessert and chocolate. So when you come in here, for instance, you sit down, you'll get a taste of something, whether it's uh, some chocolate sorbet or chocolate pound cake. And right away, we're giving you something for free. So we're telling you, hey, we're taking this a little bit more seriously than just coming in. And I've sampled many, by the way. Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so, so, so people know at, at nighttime we'll put a candle on the table. If you want to come here and have a glass of red wine and a slice of chocolate cake and not be in a noisy watering hole, this is a nicer place to come for that type of thing. So I would, I would say that we, we aim to uh, create an experience and to celebrate chocolate and dessert. Yeah. Or chocolate chip cookie, as I see that we're, we're getting at the table. 